Hello again my friends, a new year is almost upon us, but before we look to the future, let's dissect 2015 and have a right good moan. Now Destiny players have a lot of gripes about the game, believe me I know. When I asked my Twitter followers to send me the top 3 things they disliked about Destiny, well, let's just say it took me quite a while to get through them all. Worthless Nightfall loot, underwhelming year to exotics, PlayStation exclusives, the seemingly impossible goal of hitting light level 320. PvP lag, the non-stop weapon tweaking that never seems to deliver a truly balanced crucible experience, the removal of elemental primaries, reskin ghosts, year one gear becoming redundant, frustrating RNG, the removal of your grimoire score from your emblem, having to pay for the SRL record book and Bungie's decision to go dark until January 21st. These were the reoccurring grievances that filled my Twitter timeline. Now it's worth pointing out that just because you criticise a game doesn't mean you hate it, in fact it can mean quite the opposite. You just want to see the game you love get better and let's be honest it's always entertaining to compile a list and poke a little fun at a game we've invested so much time playing light-hearted banter if you will so then with that in mind here are my top five pointless additions to destiny in 2015 in at number five sparrow horns now when bungie adds a brand new slot to your guardian's character screen it's gotta be pretty damn epic right no! This slot enables you to toot a horn while on your sparrow over and over again until your opponent's ears bleed. It's not enough that the slightest nudge from another racer sends your sparrow careening off course. You can now crash and burn to the relentless screech of the fucking clown horn. In at number four, glass needles, a material that reforges year two exotic armor pieces. Now, when this was first revealed, it sounded like a great addition to the game, but let's be honest, when's the last time you actually bothered using it if at all. Now glass needles re-roll the intellect, discipline and strength and also some of the perks for your exotic piece of armour. But as with most things in Destiny, you're at the mercy of RNG so there's a good chance you'll end up with something worse than you started with and that's a fucking bingo. In at number three, this? Can you see what's going on? Yeah, that's right. If you pull the left trigger on this screen, the elemental properties are displayed on your weapons and subclass. So now I can tell that my Void Night Stalker subclass is... Well, I can tell that it's Void. So, you know, that's useful. Thanks for that. This also serves to highlight the fact that Year 2 primary weapons no longer have elemental properties. A oh, brilliant. <laughs> In at number two, the addition of light levels to your class items. Now, if you're anything like me, you want the freedom to strut your funky stuff without being penalized. Adding light levels to class items forces you to use the same two or three cloaks, marks, and bonds. Now, I've held on to all my year one hunter cloaks and I've grown rather fond of them. It's also a really cool way of showing other players that you're an old school Destiny veteran. All the cloaks you see here are no longer available to earn in game, but they've also become redundant due to the addition of light levels. Personally, I'd like to see light levels removed from class items so the Guardians can freely customise their appearance. It seems a shame that I have to consign all these cool cloaks to the vault. And in at number one, we have artifacts. Now, when I first heard about a new slot for artifacts, my imagination got the better of me. Would they endow our Guardians with new powers? Would they enable another level of visual customization? Would they become an integral component of the story? Sadly, the answer to all these questions is no, and they're not even fully realized 3D models. So then, how can Bungie make artifacts more enticing? Well, for starters, they should be wearable in-game. How cool would it look to actually equip the Fist of Eight Moons or see the Coyote's Luck artifacts hanging from your belt? And why not create a kiosk in the tower dedicated to artifacts so that we can see how many we've collected and what ones are still missing? As it stands, artifacts win my most pointless 2015 addition to the game. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Now, let's close things out on a more positive note. If you'd like to see my favourite Destiny moments of 2015, click the image that's just appeared on the screen or follow the link in the description box below. And one more thing before I go, thank you all so much for your continued support throughout 2015. I wish you all the best for the new year. See you in 2016, you beautiful bastards. And as always, a tee hee hee until next time, Guardians.